Okay, I've got two 2.5 inch drives here. They're both 15,000 RPM. As we can see, the big difference here is the uh, the HGST one has got this ramp where the heads reside when the power's off. So that protects the discs from getting scratched or impacted by the heads while the drive is in motion when it's been transported. The Seagate one hasn't got that RAM, so the head is always over one portion of the disc or another. So next thing, I'm going to just plug this in and just show you how fast they spin. Unfortunately, this one doesn't work anymore. I don't know why, but they're both 15,000 RPM anyway. So here I've got my setup. So I've got a um, L LSI SAS controller at the back and I'm using the, um, I believe it's the 8088 external connector. Um, I'm tapping off a Molex power that I've borrowed from one of the radiator fans and I've got this as the um, input. So P1, that's Molex and SAS um, to the controller. So that should allow the controller to send the uh, the speed up command to the uh, drive and we'll see it spinning. Now this micro filter desiccant pack has dropped out but we'll run it without it. It's not easy to do with just one hand but I'll try. Okay, here we go. So obviously it's complaining because the cover's removed, it's not going to work. But you can see how fast the... Uh, oh, you can see how fast both these are uh, spinning. Oh, that's making a lot of noise, so I'm going to disconnect it. But there you go, 15,000 RPM, 2.5 inch. So in my next video, I'll be doing a 3.5 inch, 15,000 RPM. And that makes a lot more noise than this so stay tuned thanks for watching